Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Islam Makachev and what I think he needs to do to up his status. Now, there's a, there's a lot of talk about him being pound for pound the greatest of all time. That is not the conversation we're going to have because I don't think he's in that area. That doesn't mean he's not good. That doesn't mean he's he doesn't deserve to be where he's at. The, the, the thing about it is... He's defended his belt, I think, now, what, three times? Two of them are against a, against a fighter who's not even in the same weight class. So I think that's where it's a little frustrating because when, when, you're, you, when you're fighting Volkanovski, you beat Charles Oliveira, you win the title, then you fight Volk. He's a 145-er. Now, can he fight up 55? Yeah, sure. Sure. But you haven't defended the title. I understand you beat, you know, one of the one of the best of all time, uh, Volkanovski, but he's not in your weight class. And just because he can make that weight doesn't make him a fifty five. If that makes sense, you know, he's twenty six and one. The one loss, as we know, was by the, by knockout by Martins, um, uh, Adriano Martins, and you know, crazy win streak. You beat a lot of good guys, all these things, but he beats Charles. Fights Volkanovski twice and then fights Poirier. It's the same issue I had with Khabib. The closer fights that he had were like Glayson Tebow. You know, Islam finished Glayson, but Khabib struggled, I thought, actually, to Glayson won that matchup. So, with, with, with Islam, he's very well rounded, good striking, not a great boxer, but good striking overall. And he, his uh, ability to find ways to get you down, especially against the cage, is pretty wild. And for him to get a takedown against Dustin when Dustin was defending all of his takedowns on the outside, the way he got that last one before the finish, impressive. I mean, you can't give, you can't say the guy wasn't. Again, the same issue I had with Khabib was he fought a lot of strikers. What happens when you do that is strikers don't want to be on the ground. They want to get up as soon as they can, quickly, as quick as they can, and that presents a lot of problems. They're they're hurrying up to get up. They're not getting up the right way. They get their back taken, then they get choked out. Dustin Poirier. I mean, a lot of these guys. So, with Khabib, Dustin. So, Dustin being the striker, defending, defending takedowns very well. A lot of that is because... Islam doesn't have great um, in the open takedowns. Now, he did great and he got them but at times. But he's way better against the cage with his takedowns, which I had been saying for a long time. So, again, fighting Volkanovski, who's a 145-er, it doesn't... Is it, is it awesome that he beat him? Sure. But you've only fought strikers so far for your title defenses. Yes, you have three, but there has to be an asterisk there. You fought one guy in your weight class, um, and there's guys in that weight class that want to fight him. That's 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 the frustrating part. You know, I'm glad Dustin got this fight. He he deserved to get that fight. Let's be real about it. But he needs to have the rematch with Oliveira. He needs to fight Armin. He needs to fight Gamrot. He needs to fight uh, Benny would would have been fun, but that's not gonna happen. Marcano would be interesting on the ground, but I think is I would sleep him on the feet. You know. Ben Wasing to me would be good, but I do think the submission ability of Islam would give him a lot of issues. So really, the only fights he I want to see him do is Gamrat because of his scrambles, and Armin and Charles. So three of them right there. And he, you know, the Justin Gaethje fight would be worse than the Poirier fight. Justin's not defending all those takedowns. Let Let's be real. Let's be real. Um, he he wouldn't do as good as Dustin did. And that's 100% the truth. So, what what does Islam fighting Leon do? Kind of holds up the division. Because what if Poirier says, okay, I don't want to retire. Who does he fight? Does he have a third fight with Justin Gaethje? Okay, possibly, sure. Um, does Armin fight Ga uh, a, a rematch with Gamma? Does Armin fight Dustin? to see who fights Islam again. I mean, it, it holds up the division. Does Charles Oliveira fight Gamrot? I think Charles smashes Gamrot. Let's be honest about that. But it, do, it doesn't do anything for Islam right now 
to fight Leon. If Islam fought Alavera and Armin and Gamrot, or at least like two out of three of those guys already, okay, Charles, fine. Say he, he won the belt off of him, fine. Take that out of there just because, you know, he already won the belt off of him. Either way, he needs to fight Armin. He needs to fight Gamrot then before you fight Leon. I mean, it's, it's the same thing with Leon. Who has he defended the belt against? Colby? Who really didn't deserve it in the first place. Bilal deserved it more than he did. And I'm not even a crazy Colby, uh, um, Leon fan. I think he's pretty overrated as well. So, again, with, with Islam Makachev being as good as he is. And on the street that he has 14 fights in a row. He does a lot. A lot of good things. 15-1 and one in the UFC. He's been finished the one time. He has 10 finishes in the UFC. And, and again, the biggest issue of my, I, I have is like with Khabib is he fought a lot of strikers. Michael Johnson, Edson Barboza, you know, uh, Ally Quinta, all of these guys that don't want to be taken down, they want to get back up on their feet to strike. And that opens up a lot of holes. It'd be the same thing with Islam fighting, you know, Rafael Fasiv. Same thing with fighting like Michael Chandler, Dan Hooker, which he already fought him, as we know. Uh, Bobby Green again. Grant, Grant Dawson would be fun, interesting because of the grappling, but I don't think that fight would go very well. Max Holloway would, would be fun, but again, that's not a fight I necessarily want to see because of the fact that he hasn't fought anybody. Islam hasn't fought enough people to warrant a double champ status. I don't care that he fought a guy that was... A weight class below him. The first fight, a lot of people thought both won. I thought Islam won 3 2 pretty clear, but it doesn't change the fact that a lot of people thought Islam lost. Okay, so who does he fight? Joel Alvarez? Come on. Joel Alvarez has the worst takedown defense I've ever seen. An interesting matchup because of the scrambles and the ability on the ground. It's Diego Fiera. Now, that fight would probably never happen for a multitude of reasons. Age. Consistency with Diego Fiera, health, all of these things. That that that'll probably never happen. So, okay, what is the better matchup for Islam Makachev going up to welterweight? All right, Leon Edwards, good striker. I wouldn't say he's this crazy striker that a lot of people say he is. I personally don't think he is, but uh, or Bilal. I probably would say Bilal Muhammad is the better matchup for Islam. Um, I do think if it'd be a better matchup for us to watch with Bilal, but I think him fighting Leon would be, if he got him down, I think he would do work. If he was standing, and if he was giving him space, that's where Leon's really good. If you give him space, if you crowd him, he's not great. I mean, he was getting reversed all over the place by Colby. All over the place. The point is, the, the double double champ things have to mean something. Have to. John Jones cleared the division before he was like, all right, I'm ready to go up to heavyweight now. You know, Connor was clearing. He, he beat Josie Aldo, who was the number one pound for pound champion of all time. That made, I mean, like, uh, Volkanovski. He, he, I mean, he did really well before he went up there. He had a couple title defenses before he fought Islam. You know, Brian Ortega, Max Holloway. I mean, let's 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 go over it. Volkanovski, um, right here, Volkanovski. Okay, so beat Max Holloway, beat Max Holloway again. Brian Ortega, Chan Sung Jung, Max Holloway, and then Islam. So he had one two three actually he had one two three four title defenses four before he fought islam and then he fought yair defended his belt beat yair and then lost to islam makachev all right that that's four four so now do we want to see islam get another title Sure, I don't think it necessarily needs to happen. I'm not counting on it to to happen. But uh, let's be honest, it probably will. It probably will happen 
simply because it makes, I mean, he'll probably be a backup fighter for Bilal and uh, Leon. And I don't understand everybody, you know, wanting it badly. Because I don't think either one of those fights are going to sell crazy amount. I think uh, Islam's um, already questionable. Because he does get hit quite a bit. You don't really want to get hit by a 170 or Unless it's Bilal because he's pillow hands. But the point is, Islam Makachev should defend his title more in his weight class. And then go up to welterweight. That welterweight title shot will always be there if you're still winning. You have to fight Armin or you have to fight Gamron. Those are the two guys you need to fight. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys agree, if you disagree, let me know. Peace.